Hello everyone, this is a quick update uh, to my last video on the Joy Tudus SUV tent. It's for camping, it's a double door design, waterproof, uh, double layered for six to eight people. It's a camping outdoor tent, of course, uh, that goes onto the back of an SUV. As you can see here, I put it on a 2020 Chevrolet Trax. This is a very small CUV, that, but uh, the, it opens up, it's a hatchback basically, and it, will, it fit really well on this, and which surprised me because it's a very large tent in comparison to the CUV itself but it fit really well and and that's with it not even strapped down yet to tighten it up and everything that's what it looks like on the inside it gives a little cuv such as this like a whole nother room for you to sleep in you know keep your stuff up in the vehicle um just look at it it fit on here really well which was really surprising so it definitely works with the chevrolet tracks um the material on this tent is very is pretty good quality um, I put it on par kind of with my Kelty. I have a Kelty uh, tent also that is not an SUV tent. It does not work with a hatchback. It's the straight standalone tent. So, so this one right here is better, I believe, because one, it can connect to my SUV and I can use it as a second room. We can, all of us can sleep in there and even some of us can sleep in the SUV while being connected to the tent. Or you can actually close that door up right there the the backside actually zips up and it becomes an actual uh, standalone tent so it doesn't even have to be connected to the cuv or the suv which i think is really cool that really works out for uh, uh when you want to leave your campground and leave your tent there and go do some other activities and come back and your tent's there and you can back up and connect it back up to the suv and have the room again you can have all your cots in there all that good stuff um, there you see it on a 2014 chevrolet volt the volt it fit on what the theme of this is is if you have a hatchback this does pretty well at fitting on hatchbacks even though the uh the volt is actually not a very large car it's a hybrid plug-in uh style hybrid so uh but i was surprised it fit on here and that's i didn't even strap it down so if i strapped it down it would have fit even better so that was really cool and right here as you can see this is a 2016 kia sorento this is a larger suv around the size of like a dodge durango uh, these come in uh, two rows of seats and three rows of seats so it's a fairly large suv it's one of kia's largest suvs actually is the kia sorento and of course on a larger suv like this it fit even better um, always remember though when you put these on here you kind of put your hatchback down a little bit more so you can fit it over and then make sure you put your hatchback all the way back up uh, it gives you a lot more room in regards to headroom and everything so uh, just remember to do that as you can see i'm showing the material i had no issues with it i really liked it it has a screen door two screen doors and it has windows on all four sides which can be uh, unzipped with a bug screen and so and, you know to keep the bugs out as well as keeping air circulation going in the hot summer or if, say you were cooking inside there which i do every once in a while if it's too cold or i just don't feel like going out at that time as you can see right here, I just put it on. Once I go in here, I'm going to push the SUV, actually the SUV's hatchback up, which will make a better fit. And this is what I'm about to do now. Now, remember, I am six foot tall. And as you can see, as I walk in here, I can stand up easily in here with many inches of room over over my head. So people taller than me can actually go in here and have uh, plenty of headroom. Now, once I get in here and you see how big the door is, so I'm going to push up the hatchback fully because I just put the tent up. And as you can see, a much more cleaner look. You can tighten up the straps on top and tighten up the straps to the rims, depending on how long, you, how much, how tight you want it onto the back of your SUV. But I really enjoy this tent just because uh, it really, especially for me when I do my lone camping trips, me and the dog. It gives us so much room. I don't have to actually leave the tent and like set up a shower tent when it's just me and the dog. I can stay in this tent and still have the privacy if I need to clean up, if I, uh, uh, you know, variety of things that you need privacy for. 
I have plenty of room. I have my entire SUV, plus I have a tent that can hold around six to eight people. Now, that six to eight people is going to be people sleeping on the ground. If you're talking with cots, I'd say you couldn't get, you'd get in maybe a max of four actual cots on on the on the floor of this tent. Now, if you're sleeping on the floor in sleeping bags, then that's a different story. You're gonna be able to fit more people. Now, look again. Look at all the height. Uh, look at all the height over me when I'm six foot tall that you have. So you can clearly stand up, and you can see my dog is right there. My dog is a very large dog. He's about 120 pounds, and he, and even him in here. You can see uh, there's plenty of room with him in here, and he's a big dog. He'd be probably the size of a smaller human being in regards to weight and all that good stuff. And we have plenty of room. My dog, we actually camped in this tent with the Kia Sorento that night, and it was got down to about 40 degrees, I would say, and we were up in the mountains. And the tent did really well. I was able to cook outside, come in here. I had everything set up that I needed. I had a portable toilet uh, if I needed it set up in here. Like I said, it was just me and the dog. So I had a portable toilet. Uh, my uh, power bank was hooked up. I was even watching a movie on my tablet in here, and we had so much room. The only thing I didn't do, I wish I'd have thought of, is I left one of my chairs outside. I basically could have set this up like a little living room, really, if I wanted to. Uh, we were super comfortable in this tent. As you can see, you can uh, open up the uh, doors, and actually there's a screen, a zip screen that you can unzip, and they roll up, and there's little latches where once you roll them up, you can connect it and uh and tidies up how tidies up the actual screen um excuse me the co screen covers pretty good just like that pretty simple right and so you can keep it open to keep that ventilation going especially if it's hot or you just need some air or you want to be in here and cook and make sure you got enough ventilation for fumes and all that good stuff you know for safety reasons um i was really impressed with this tent um, I will definitely take this tent on my next actual um, camping trip and I really enjoyed my time with this tent and it was a pleasure using it and you can see my dog my dog even likes it and he couldn't wait to get in there and go to bed that's my dog how he is he, he got a certain time when it starts getting dark he's ready to go to bed so he's waiting for me he's like come on dad it's time for us to shut it down and go to bed anyway that's just an update of this uh, tent and go check it out. I'm going to be using it. You'll see it in my future videos. Anyway, everyone, this is Frugal Panda. I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. Frugal Panda out.